Hello everyone, today we're going to review the basics of creating accessible Word documents. This may seem like a lot to remember at first, but it will become second nature the more you practice. And as a tip, the golden rule of Word accessibility is to use the tools given to you. Please note, I'm reviewing this information in sections, but you do not have to follow any particular order when creating a document. Alright, let's jump right in. First, you'll need to focus on your document's properties. Select File, Info. On the right, you'll notice a listing of document properties. There are several fields, but the two I suggest you fill out are title and author. These allow a screen reader to definitively tell the reader what the document is and who it's coming from. Next is headings. Headings give your document style and structure. In the style section of the toolbar, there are several heading options, H1 through H6. Generally, you're only going to use H1 through H3 and on the rare occasion, H4. Think of H1 as the most general categorization, and then H2 onward are like subcategories with more detail. To note, you must keep the headings in numerical order. These are pretty simple to add to your document. Just highlight your text and select a heading. You can also easily modify these to meet your style needs. Right-click your heading style and select Modify. From there, alter your text as you see fit. You can also modify the text directly, then right-click the style in the ribbon and select Update Style to Match Selection. Headings also impact your table of contents when you use an automatic TOC. Use one of the automatic table of contents under References, Table of Contents. Moving on to lists. Lists are often used in documents to show related information, but can easily confuse someone using a screen reader if you're not using the appropriate tools. Make sure you utilize the bullet features. I will also know that the bullet feature will give you several design options. Stick with the basics, either the numbers, the standard dot, or the open circle. Otherwise, screen readers may not read your list as a list. If you need to create a sublist, use the indent buttons or the tab key, as long as the bullet feature is selected. Now on to images. Let me first make a distinction. There are images that are meaningful and add value to a document, and there are decorative images placed into a document as fluff. For the meaningful images, you must do a few things when placing them into your document. One, place them in line with text. You can do this by selecting your image, and under the layout options, select in line with text. I know this limits your design, However, there are ways around this in other formats. We'll review this when we cover PDF accessibility. Two, you need to provide alternative text to describe the image. Right-click your photo and select Format Picture. Select the third symbol at the top of the pane and select Alt Text. In the Description field, not the Title field, provide your text. For this, simply write Orange Tree. Please note, do not write Photo of Orange Tree the screen reader already provides that info to the user. As for decorative images, it's better not to provide alt text. Because they provide no value to the meaning of your document, there's no need to acknowledge them. For links, it's important to be descriptive. Present your link with its final destination. As you can see with this example, I've referenced the link's destination, which is Google, in both sentences. Linked phrases such as, more information here, aren't helpful as they don't give a clear indicator where they are leading to. Moving on to tables. For this, use your toolbar. Go to Insert, Table, and select the appropriate amount of cells you require. Keep your tables simple. Don't split cells. Now it's important to do two things when creating an accessible table. Select your table and right click Table Properties, Row. Uncheck Allow Row to break across pages. This prevents your table rows from laying across two pages, making it super confusing to read. Next, select the top row of your table, and at the top of the toolbar, select Layout, Repeat Header Rows. Something important to keep in mind is to never add alt text to tables. People using screen readers need to read each cell, and alt text takes away that ability if provided. And that's a wrap. Yes, it may seem like a lot to digest now, but once you have these rules down and remember to use the default tools, accessibility can be easy.